So, do you want to learn how to TAS in Moopin 64? Specifically, for Super Mario 64? Well, you've come to the right place. Step 1. Open Moopin. This is easy. All you have to do is go to where you've got Moop installed on your computer and click on it. And A bada bing, you've opened Moopin. Your next step is to open the right ROM. Now this is completely illegal. So, I'm not going to tell you where to get that. Uh, good luck, loser. So once you've found your desired ROM, open it. Everyone knows the Japanese is faster, so we're tool speed speedrunners. We're going to go with that. It's-a me, Mario. So what do you know, you've opened your ROM. Now, how do you TAS? Well, this is surprisingly easy. All you've got to do is use this TAS input here as if it's a controller. Now, most of you will be thinking, well, how do I use this really quickly? Like, how do I BLJ? If you need to hold a button and press A, do you just do this really quick? Well, you're an idiot, because if you right click, you can toggle. Look at that. Mario's got sweet moves. Anyway, it turns out you don't have to play this game in real time using a shitty controller. All you have to do is go up to the utilities option, go down to movie, and click start movie recording. Easy! Once you hit record, all you have to do is find somewhere to save it, write in the information, and if you want to start from the start of the game from a reset, you click start, or if you want to start from where you're currently located, you hit start from snapshot. So now I've just started recording. Now I'm going to use frame advancing. Frame advancing is kind of like pausing the game and only moving forward when you want to. So it's essentially cheating, but it's not because we're not speedrunning. And everyone knows speedrunning and tassing are not the same thing. And if you think they are the same thing, you can probably go drink bleach. Anyway, this is where the fun part begins. This is where you start to use your tass input. Let's hold forward. Would you look at that? Mario's not moving. Why not? Well, we've paused the game. All you have to do is frame advance. Look at that! Mario started moving. Now we've begun. We've transcended. We are no longer normal speedrunners. In fact, we are cheaters. I mean, tool assisted speedrunners. Let's do a few things. Let's jump. Look at that. We can now jump as Mario. We can kick. We can do all sorts of things. We can long jump. And you want to know what an even professional trick is? You can backflip and dive. Everyone knows that is optimal movement. So now you're wondering, how do I turn this into a video? Well, easy. All you have to do is go up to your utilities option, go movie, and stop movie recording. Now, this is where the hard part begins. You go back to utilities, you click on movie, you click on start movie playback. Now, this magic option menu actually plays back the same file you just recorded from wherever you located it. So as you can see, I've got 5 seconds of material here. Now I'm going to play. Now because I've got the game frame advanced, it's not going to play straight away. So I need to hit frame advanced, and now we are back here. Now if we hit play, it'll play back the file. Now, this is where you made your first rookie mistake. Moopin is a shitty program. It doesn't work. Go figure. So why did it pause? Well, Moopin has this problem where if you don't have an extra 5,000 frames at the end of your video before you stop recording, it's going to delete at least half of everything you've just recorded. It's great! Anyway, assuming you have made a movie that is good, what you need to do is go back to where you start your movie playback, hit play, and if you want to turn it into a video, you go down to Movie and start AVI Capture. Save it to wherever you want. I'm just going to use my desktop and we're going to call this World Record. Because it is. Now this little window will pop up next. This is where a lot of rookies suck at what's called encoding. Or at least the beginning of encoding. What you want to do is use literally anything other than full frames because you're going to enter a world of pain. I recommend using Lagarus Lossless Codec, which you can find on Google by searching Lagarus Lossless Codec. Once you do, you can configure it with the following settings. Hit OK, hit OK, and it will start playing back your movie. And if it doesn't, hit play, and it will do its magic. Now, once you're happy with your movie, you go back down to movie and stop AVI capture. Now, we are finished. We have made our video. So here I've opened up my desktop, and if I hit this video, here we are. This is the video we just recorded.
Beautiful! That concludes the very basics of how to use movement. This tutorial does not include how to task or how to task Super Mario 64. That is completely onto you. Side note, if you use screen capturing to capture your movie playback rather than using the movement inbuilt AVI capture, well, I hope YouTube deletes your video and Nintendo flags you for review. I mean, you're not going to be good at tasking because it's pretty basic and it's simply a very basic thing to do. It's literally in the program. I mean, I know the program's bad, but it's not that bad. Now, I forgot one extra thing. You see, in Tassing, we have this thing called Memory Watch. So what we use is either MHS or we use Cheat Engine. Now, I hate Cheat Engine because it's cheating. So I use Memory Hack software. All you have to do is open up your selected file, open up the process you want, and now you can actually watch all of the variables in the game's RAM. Everything from your Mario XYZ coordinate to your vertical and horizontal speed. This comes in handy. For example, let's say my speed here is zero. Well, if I start playing back, I'm not moving, so my speed is zero. But if I start moving, you'll see it starts to change. Now this is important because if you don't know your information about the game, then someone else who is tasking will be able to do the same technique with higher values. And if they've got higher values, they're going to do things such as, in the example of speed, if they're able to get 31 consistently, but you've got for some reason 30, well, they're going to get from point A to point B very quickly, and you're going to be stuck behind a loser tasser that you are. So get good, scrub! And that concludes today's tutorial. And, um, by the way, if you don't use save states at least once every, oh, I don't know, two frames, well, you're not gonna make it very far in this, you know, SM64 tassing era, because, um, let's just say I give SM64 a different name. I call it Save State Simulator.